Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is going to be about my favorite YouTubers who talk about cruelty-free products and are in the process of going cruelty-free if they're not already. And I, before I started, I wanted to point out a few things really quick. The first being, I don't know these people personally. I'm not trying to kiss anyone's ass. These are people who I think are really great resources for you if you're in the same boat as me and you're trying to go into cruelty for beauty. And in general, I just like to support other YouTubers that I think are really good at what they do. The second thing I want to point out is there are no men on this list and that's not in any way intentional. I just don't follow any men that are cruelty free. I actually don't know of any that are. And if there are, please let me know. I feel like there's got to be some out there. I just don't know of them. And that's not intentional in any way. It's just coincidence. And the third thing is these are not the only cruelty free YouTubers that I follow. I follow a lot of really great people who are either cruelty free already or in the process of becoming cruelty free. And that doesn't mean that just because they're not on this list, that doesn't mean that I don't think they're good enough or they're not people I would recommend. These are just kind of the people that I want to list because they resonate with me somehow or they just bring something new to the table. So this is kind of like an honorable mention, but I do follow lots of people, men or women, regardless of their cruelty-free status or not. And these are just kind of like ones that I wanted to point out specifically. I also wanted this video to kind of spark a discussion. If you know of any cruelty-free YouTubers that I didn't mention or you think I don't know of about, please let us all know in the comments. I think it would be really great to kind of call some people out and give some shout outs of people that we think are doing really great work in this community and are making good videos that you would want other people to watch. Okay, so the first person I want to talk about is someone you guys probably already know about. Her name is Liv Loves Her Makeup. Um, she is someone who is kind of transitioning into cruelty free so she's not there yet but she's kind of working on it just like me she comes out with five videos a week and just because she comes out with a lot of videos the quality of those do not ever go down they're always fresh and unique ideas they're always fun ways of comparing products against each other or comparing brands against how they used to be um, she always has really great ideas it's always fun to see what she has coming out and um, on top of that she works full-time so she's a professional musician and then on top of that, she puts out all these videos. So she's a busy girl. I don't know how she does it. One thing I really like about her channel is she turns the camera on, she starts talking, and then she does the whole video in one take, and then, boop, uploads it. No editing, nothing. And I just think that's so <laughs> admirable. It's not something I could ever do. She's used to like performing in front of other people. I am not a performer in any way. I tend to go off on tangents. I tend to forget what word I'm thinking of. And so me going in and doing a video and not editing out like random rants and stuff like that, does it doesn't seem plausible for me ever but i really admire that she can do that i also really like her personality she's very bright and positive she's very honest about health issues she has or big changes that are happening in her life she's always very honest about that and i think that's very endearing she's always very honest about you know what she gets as pr who kicked her off her pr list she's always really honest about she'll even give screenshots of um companies reaching out to her like emails that she gets and she's just very transparent about the whole situation I think that's really great and very helpful for me as someone who watches her I kind of know exactly where she's coming from so I really admire that and if you don't know about her please check her out I love her personality the next one is Kitty Snack. She has a really great personality. She seems like somebody who I would want to be friends with in real life. And if that sounds creepy, I'm sorry, but you guys know what I mean. One thing I also like is that she sometimes briefly touches on social issues in her videos. She did a rainbow tutorial for Pride Month. She also mentioned that she attended the Women's March in her local region back in January. And I also attended the one in my location as well. And I just thought that was really cool that she brought it up. And I just think it's really hard to be very eloquent about that kind of thing and I think it's a really great message that she sends out that you can like makeup, you can care about how you look, you can like playing with makeup and care about beauty, but also be educated and know about what's going on in the world around you and what's happening to your neighbors and to the people around you. Um, I think that's a really great message to send out so I commend her for that. I also love her tutorials. She's a very gifted makeup artist. She also has a series called her Disney series where she takes uh, Disney movies and kind of creates a makeup look inspired by that movie and I think that's so unique and fun. I love watching those tutorials because they have like a nostalgic tinge to them as well and she also has like the dead girl glam tutorials where she does really glamorous looks with very pale skin. She has a box out right now that she does in collaboration with Steely Style and that's a brand that I've really been curious to try out but I'm considering breaking my no buy just to buy her box because I want to support her but also I want to try out the brand and in general I just really like her videos and the message she sends out and her personality in general. 
The next one I'm going to talk about is Jacqueline Levine. She's from Texas. She's incredibly well-spoken. She gives fantastic reviews. They're very thorough, and she's not afraid to be honest. I love her Project Pans. I really like her makeup basket videos, and in general, I just like her attitude about using products that you have and getting rid of them if they don't make you happy or work for you anymore. Um, even products that you once loved, if they don't work for you anymore, you can get rid of them and not feel bad. I just like her attitude about like actually using what's in your collection. Also, earlier this year, she did a Project Pan called Build Pan Not walls and all the money that she made from ad revenue she donated to Mexican American Defense and Education Fund. She donated all of her ad revenue to that and it was just like a little sign of solidarity on her part. She lives in Texas so it's right on the border of Mexico and she kind of just spoke her mind and said you know what side she was on and what she agreed with but she did so in a way that was very um, eloquent. She did it in a non-controversial way and she was able to more of her love for makeup and using up makeup into helping a organization that she cares about. The next one I want to talk about is Logical Harmony. She is my number one go-to resource for what brand is cruelty-free and what isn't. Her website and her blog are very helpful and all of her products are both cruelty-free and vegan so if um, that's important to you she has a lot of really great vegan options for products as well. She's incredibly well-spoken and she's also one to talk about a lot of different brands not just the cruelty-free brands I know of that are on like Ulta and Sephora's website. She talks about a lot of indie brands, smaller local companies. She really talks about a lot of different ones that I don't hear about. In general, I'm just a big fan and if she says a brand is cruelty-free, I believe it. She's one of the few people I know that will actually contact a company, ask them all the right questions. She explains to you what exactly means cruelty-free and what doesn't, what are some of the gray areas, and she's just really great about being transparent and showing you exactly what the company says, how they answer the questions, and then kind of like allows you to make that answer for yourself. So um, I really like how thorough she is and how much research she puts into it. I think she is one of the original people on the internet to have like given actual information that can be used for like what is cruelty free and what is and I think she's one of the original people who does it so kudos to her. <laughs> the next one I want to talk about is Carly Bible. I really want to commend her for being a bigger channel and a really big channel and you know, still being cruelty free. She probably gets reached out to by a lot of really big, not cruelty free brands, and I don't know of her working with any of them. And I'm sure that's a lot of money that she's leaving on the table just to support brands that she believes in and that she wants to support. So I really commend her for that. She has collaborated with, I think, BH Cosmetics in the past a couple times, and um, that is a cruelty free and a very affordable brand as well. So I really commend her for not working with really big brands, even though she'd probably get a lot of money for it. Um, because they're not cruelty free she doesn't work with them i think that's amazing of course that's speculation i don't know if brands are reaching out to her and she's saying no but i can kind of assume that they are. I really like her tutorials. She's very gifted at doing makeup. The looks she makes are always amazing. I wish I could recreate them the way she does. She also has a fantastic personality and I enjoy watching her, so I would recommend checking her out if you don't subscribe to her already. And the very next one is Andrea Mattiano. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right. I think it's Mattiano. Um, I'll put everybody's name below, obviously, but I, my, for some reason, my YouTube unsubscribed from her earlier this year. I feel like that happened a couple times with some different people like I looked at people's channels that I was subscribed to and it said I wasn't. I remembered that her videos weren't coming out like I remembered not seeing them and I immediately went and like resubscribed to her because I didn't want to miss anything she had to say. She is one of those people who has like a very big makeup collection but she's like transitioning to cruelty free and she did a video where she talked about how she's going to go slowly and she's going to take her collection as it is and not just get rid of everything that isn't cruelty free. She's kind of going to like work her way to a cruelty free collection. She was just very honest about, you know, why she's doing it and how she's going to do it. And I really thought that was cool. She has a lot of followers as well. And for her to like make a decision like that and, you know, potentially turn down a lot of brands that aren't cruelty free that will reach out to her. Um, I thought that was really great. I'm just a big fan. I also love watching her project pans, but also her makeup baskets. Her makeup basket videos are extremely well done. I think even just like to see how well she edits a video and puts a video together, she really works hard on those. I think just to check those out, um, I don't think you would be disappointed. If you have any other cruelty-free YouTubers that you don't think I know about, please tell me about them. I think that would be really great to tell everybody like who is out there because I obviously don't know of like every single person out there who's cruelty-free on YouTube. So if you could help me out, but also the people watching, just let us know in the comments. That would mean a lot. And in the meantime, that's everything I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.